Project Discovery is a citizen science project within EVE Online, which contributes to real-world scientific research through gameplay. Players are provided with astronomical data with the aim of discovering real-life exoplanets and earning in-game rewards. EVE Online is a free-to-play space MMO, and to take part, you only need to create an account and download the game. After logging in and creating a character, all players have access to Project Discovery. Project Discovery is located here on your Neocom menu. The project director, Professor Michelle Meyer, will take you through a short training program to get you started. Once you have completed the training tasks, you can start analyzing real data. What you see here is a measure of a star's brightness, called a luminosity graph. The graph shows the average luminosity over a period of about 28 days. Any orbiting planet transiting between the star and the telescope may cause a slight dip in luminosity. And those dips are the signs we are looking for. Your task is to find these dips and mark them. A transit will cause a dip in luminosity, as you can see here. If the planet's orbit is shorter than 28 days, you will see two or more dips in the graph. Sometimes the luminosity of a star varies as it spins, and it can be tricky to identify any dips. You can use the detrending tool here to even out periodic variations. This can help transits stand out. Here we have the minimap where you can increase resolution and zoom in on the graph. Zoom in like this and use the slider to move along the luminosity graph. This is helpful when you want to mark a transit. Now let's mark these dips here and see if they are periodic. Folding is used to identify multiple transits. If you believe there is more than one transit, select it, then move the cursor to mark the next one. Folding overlaps the markings you have made for the dips to line up. You can nudge the graph here to have the dips line up perfectly. Press Confirm when you are done folding and submit your analysis here. Here is the star system simulation. It shows you the orbital period of a planet you have marked the transit for. It can be hidden and that will remove the markings you have made. This is great for storing results that you are not sure of and you can mark other transits on the same graph and compare the two. Different transits will be colored accordingly. Here you can delete the markings you have made. You also have the option of classifying the activity of an observed star. For each classification you will see examples of what to expect. This is optional and does not count towards your accuracy rating. Once you start analyzing data and submitting results, you are working with the EVE player base to reach a consensus. In these cases, you will see a result screen, but since there is no correct answer, you will be told what percentage of players agree with your findings. This way you can get an idea of whether you are on the same track as your fellow players. The more people that analyze the data independently, the more solid the consensus becomes. Once a consensus has been reached on an image, your accuracy rating will be updated retroactively in accordance with the community consensus. Your accuracy rating dictates the amount of rewards that you get after each submission. Here you see your analyst rank and your accuracy rating. As you gain experience points analyzing the data, you gain rank as an analyst. Rewards are made available to you as you climb up the rank ladder and reach certain milestones. Project Discovery is a collaboration between Reykjavik University, the University of Geneva, Massively Multiplayer Online Science and the players of EVE Online. That's all there is to it. We hope you have fun discovering new worlds and contributing to real science. Fly safe.